This is a story that was almost never told. Peter Powell Roberts was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1926, just 22 days after his mother arrived in the United States from Wales. He grew up, joined the circus, and then joined the army and served his country during World War II. He came home, he got married, and he began his career as an artist, eventually teaching it at the Ringling School of Art in Sarasota for 23 years. But in 2010, his wife of 45 years died. He lost the love of his life, and he and the art world almost lost even more. He stopped painting. He was penniless, depressed, and in assisted living. Peter and his work went missing. But God apparently had other ideas for Peter Powell Roberts. In 2012, Fred Levitt, the president of the Heartland Cultural Alliance, brought his therapy dog, Sheba, to Sunny Hills Assisted Living Facility in Sebring to help cheer up the residents. The activities director of the facility asked him to visit Roberts and look at his paintings. Roberts, then 86, was delighted to meet Fred and his dog, and Levitt was just as delighted to see the quality of the artwork crowding the small room. Original oil paintings hung on the walls, some were stacked along the floor, and others were stuck between pieces of furniture. Levitt recognized the importance of this body of Florida art hidden away and in jeopardy of being lost forever. Roberts had been asked a number of times by the Sunny Hill staff to show his work in the lobby, but each time he refused. But at Levitt's urging, Peter agreed to show his paintings again. Peter's passion for art soon returned with a vengeance. He started creating new masterpieces, and 119 more paintings were rescued from his former home. He painted almost continuously from then, often scenes from Highlands Hammock State Park. In fact, he had just finished one painting and had started on another when he fell ill and died a short time later on April 12th of 2014 at the age of 88. In his will, Peter left his collection of paintings to the Heartland Cultural Alliance. The collection, with a value of $3 million, will find a permanent home in the Peter Powell Roberts Museum of Art and Cultural Center. Molly Doctorow of the SFSC Museum of Florida Art and Culture said Peter Powell Roberts' paintings bridge the gap between representational art and contemporary art, making a profound contribution to Florida's art history. The Heartland Cultural Alliance's goal is to make sure everyone has a chance to see Peter's contributions. Using a generous grant from the City Council, work is already underway on the second floor of the Avon Park Community Center, turning an empty room into a showcase for the work of Peter Powell Roberts, as well as a place for local artists to display their talents. The second floor will also serve as a meeting place and a lecture facility. The goal of the Heartland Cultural Alliance is to turn the first floor of the community center into classrooms and showroom space for local artists. But it will take help from the community to make that happen. The Peter Powell Roberts Museum of Art and Cultural Center will be a centerpiece for downtown Avon Park, drawing in art fans from far and wide to see the work of a genius whose gift was almost lost but can now be seen for generations to come.